Hey guys, it's Darwin, and today we're talking shelters, tents versus hammocks, the pros and cons of each, why I don't use a hammock, and what's the best shelter system for you. Okay, so by now you guys should know that I'm mainly a tent person, and in the past I've dabbled in things like tarp setups and bivy setups, and in the past I have messed with some hammocking. Now about a year ago I made a video talking about tents versus bivvies, and one question that I got a ton in the comment section wasn't on either, it was on hammocks. Now I have done some hammock camping in the past, and I do currently own a hammock setup, but there's a reason that I don't take them out on my through hikes, and I'll go over that in a little bit, but first let's talk about the pros and cons of each. All right, so I can tell you being a tent person, one of the biggest pros for me on using a tent on something like a through hike or a section hike or even a weekend backpacking trip is having a little home at the end of the day. I know if I have a hard day on the trail, if it's wet, if it's cold, if it's hot, that at the end of the day, I kind of have this little thing to look forward to, right? When I get to camp, I can set up my little shelter and I have my own little space away from everybody else. Especially if I am camping with other hikers out on the trail, whether I know them or not, I like having my own little private domain uh, in my camp spot at the end of the day. It's just something that I like. Also, if weather is bad, I can get inside and I can spread out all my stuff. I'm not super cramped in a little tiny spot, so I do like having a little bit bigger of a tent to where if I know there's gonna be a hardcore rainstorm, and maybe there's a day that I don't wanna hike, maybe I wanna take a zero on the trail, I have a spot that I can spread all my stuff out, I can cook in my vestibule, and I can be comfortable. When I would say the biggest pro for me on using tents on the trail are simplicity. Tents, especially the ones that I use, are very simple to set up. Now in the past, I have used tents that are freestanding, which have an inner, uh, a rain fly, the poles and everything, and those are pretty easy to set up. But now I typically use a trekking pole tent that is a one piece tent or a single walled tent. And I love the simplicity of those tents because when I get to camp, no matter where it's at, I can throw out the tent, I can stake it down, put my trekking pole in it and it's ready for me to go to bed. So for me, it's all about simplicity and tents, in my opinion, are just a more simplistic approach to the trail. Now, as much as I do like using a tent, there are obviously cons with using a tent over something like a hammock on the trail, in my opinion. Number one would be setting up a messy camp. And what I mean by that is when I get to camp and say it's been raining all day and the spot that I'm gonna set my tent up on is just super muddy, super wet, there's puddles on the ground, I gotta set up in that. And then in the morning when I get up, there tends to be a lot of mud splattered on the outside of my tent. So sometimes using a tent can be a little bit more messy. And the second con for me is kind of the opposite of one of my pros and that is setting up. Sometimes you don't always find the flattest ground. Sometimes, especially out here in the Southwest, there's a ton of rocks all over the ground. So setting up a tent can kind of be a challenge. You have to really think about how you can set it up in between obstacles, between trees. And depending on what tent that you're using, it can take up a lot of real estate on the ground. So if you're camping around of a lot of other people, you might only have so much room to work with. All right, so that basically covers the pros and the cons of tents for me, but let's talk about hammocks. Now, like I said, I have used hammocks in the past on overnight backpacking trips, on section hikes, but I'm by no means an expert on using hammocks all the time. So I decided to bring in Frozen from Outdoor Adventures to give us a little bit more insight into the hammock world. Hey Darwin, thanks for having me. What's up man, thanks for coming on. So what would you say are some of the pros or advantages to using a hammock on the trail? There are some great benefits to using a hammock on the trail. The first thing that comes to mind is the ability to set up camp where a typical tent might not be able to. For instance, say the ground is uneven or there's obstacles in the way like rocks or sticks or even logs. Hammock campers are able to hang over top of those obstacles and really get a comfortable night's sleep. Another great benefit is the ability to elevate your feet after a long, hard day of hiking. With my hammock set up, I'm able to raise my foot end of the hammock six inches higher than the head end of the hammock, which allows my feet to be elevated throughout the entire night, no matter what position I'm sleeping, whether it's on my back, on my side, or even on my stomach, my feet will be elevated the entire night. The biggest benefit of using a hammock, at least for me, 
is when I was using a tent and sleeping pad combo, I never felt like I could get comfortable. Every hour or two I was waking up, tossing and turning, my back ached in the morning. All that was relieved whenever I switched to a hammock. I get such a great night's sleep in this thing that I wake up feeling refreshed and ready to start my day. Right on, so it sounds like comfort is a really big pro on using hammocks on the trail over tents, but I'm sure there's some cons or disadvantages to using a hammock. Sure, there's definitely some cons when bringing a hammock. The first thing I should talk about is a hammock is usually going to weigh more than a typical tent system. If you add in the under quilt, the top quilt, the hammock, the straps, the suspension, and the tarp and the tent stakes, you're typically gonna be over the weight of a standard tent. Even the lightest hammock setup is still going to weigh more than the lightest tent setup. So that is something to think about. Another thing that might dissuade people from hammock camping is its privacy issue. Whereas in a tent, you can just close up your doors, change for the night or get dressed in the morning, you know, kind of spread out all of your gear to keep it organized. With a hammock, you don't have that privacy or that space. Typically, I keep everything in my backpack and when it comes time to get changed, I'm huddled up under my quilt and changing inside my hammock. I think the biggest con for using a hammock on the trail is the amount of research required to actually get a comfortable night's sleep and to kind of know what you're doing. I think a lot of people just go up to their local outdoor store, buy the first hammock they see and expect to get a great night's sleep. It's not like that at all. It requires a ton of research and dialing your gear down to make sure that you can get a great night's sleep. Excellent points, man. Thanks for your insight. Thanks, Darwin. Looking forward to your AZT through hike. Have a good one. So it definitely looks like there are some pros to using a hammock on the trail over a tent, but why don't I personally use a hammock on any of my hikes? Well, for me, it comes down to simplicity. With a hammock system, especially if you're talking about a three season hammock system, you have the tarp, you have the hammock, you have the bug net, you have the straps, the under quilt, the top quilt, all of that stuff. I'm just a lazy hiker. At the end of the day, after hiking from 20 to sometimes 40 miles a day, I don't wanna mess with all that stuff. I don't wanna look for a tree. I just wanna grab my tent out, throw it down on the ground, put some trekking poles in it, guy it out, and be ready to go to bed. I'm sure if I used hammock systems on the trail, I would probably sleep a little bit better. Because anytime that I have used hammock systems, I've been super comfortable. But for me, it just comes down to simplicity. And again, like I've said in my past videos, efficiency. If I don't have to mess with all that stuff and I can just be a little bit more efficient in camp, it's going to make my hike overall more enjoyable. But if you don't mind taking that extra time or say you're just going out for a multi-day backpacking trip where you don't necessarily have to be from point A to point B, maybe a hammock system would be a great option for you to check out. But if you're lazy like me and you don't really want to mess with it, maybe just grab a tent. My suggestion is get out on the trail, maybe pick up a nice cheap budget option for a tent and a hammock and test it and see if you're a person that likes taking the time to set up a hammock or see if you're lazy like me and you just want to throw that tent out. But get out on the trail, do some experimenting and find out for yourself what's going to be the best for your next hike. Now I will leave some tent and hammock recommendations uh, down in the description box from both me and Frozen on what you should maybe look at if you're thinking about getting into a good lightweight simple tent or a nice hammock setup. I'll leave all that down below, so definitely check that out. A huge thanks to Frozen over at Outdoor Adventures. Uh, if you're not following anybody this year on a through hike, go check out Frozen's channel. He does a bunch of awesome gear videos, not only on hammocks, but on packs, on cook systems. Plus, he's doing an AT through hike this year, so go follow him as he starts pretty soon. And I think he's going to be doing like two videos a week from the trail. What are you currently using on the trail? Are you a hammock person or a tent person and why? Leave me something down below and let me know your thoughts. If you found any value in this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as always guys, thanks for watching.